This is the Model 370 Granita Slush Machine. The purpose of this video is to show you the proper operating procedures for this model as well as the 369 single bowl and the 371 triple bowl units. We begin our instructions at the point where the parts are disassembled and laid out to dry from a previous cleaning. Make sure all switches are in the off position. When lubricating parts, use an approved food grade lubricant. Lubricate the rear hopper gasket and place it around the ridge on the rear wall of the unit. The largest rim on the gasket should be placed against the wall. Install the inner scraper blades onto the beater shaft. The arrows on the blade should face to the outside. The blades can only be assembled correctly in one manner. Insert the grooved plastic ring into the large rubber cup. Place the smaller rubber piece on the top of the plastic ring. Lubricate the portion of the rubber which fits on the beater shaft. Make sure lubricant is placed evenly on both the inner and outer surfaces of the seal. Install the seal onto the end of the beater shaft. Insert the beater shaft into the evaporator. When properly engaged, the beater shaft seal is positioned against the rear wall of the unit. Slide the spiral blade over the evaporator until the front notch engages with the exposed end of the beater shaft. Push the hopper towards the rear wall of the unit until it fits snugly around the rear hopper gasket and the front hooks are locked on the fastening lips. Install the O-rings into the grooves of the draw valve and lubricate. Insert the draw valve into the door spout. Place the coil spring in the down position. Slide the prong of the draw handle into the slot of the draw valve. Secure with the pivot pin. Repeat these steps for each bowl. Install the front drip tray and splash shield. Slide the fork of the tray over the metal prong located under the unit. Prepare two gallons of sanitizing solution. Pour the solution into the hopper. Brush clean the mix hopper and evaporator. Place the power switch and mix refrigeration switch in the on position to agitate the solution. Place an empty mix pail beneath the door spout. Open the draw valve and draw off all the sanitizing solution. When the sanitizer stops flowing from the door spout, close the draw valve. Place the power switch and mix refrigeration switch in the off position. Repeat these steps for each bowl. With the mix pail beneath the door spout, open the draw valve. Fill the hopper with fresh product. This will force out any remaining sanitizing solution. When full strength product is flowing from the door spout, Close the draw valve. Place the power switch in the on position. Place the mixed refrigeration switch in either juice to chill or slush to freeze. Install the hopper cover. Place the light switch in the on position. To disassemble, the following items will be needed. Two cleaning pails, necessary brushes, cleaner sanitizer, 
single service towels. Turn the mix refrigeration switch on and the light switch off. Remove the hopper cover and take to the sink for cleaning. Do not immerse the light display in liquid. Wash them by hand with a cleaning solution and a soft bristle brush. Carefully clean the underside. Remove the drip trays. With a pail beneath the door spout, open the draw valve. When all the product has been drained, close the draw valve and place the power switch in the off position. Pour two gallons of cool, clean water into the mix hopper. Using a soft bristle brush, scrub the mix hopper and evaporator. With a mix pail beneath the door spout, open the draw valve. Drain all the rinse water from the hopper and close the draw valve. Repeat this procedure until the rinse water being drawn from the hopper is clear. Prepare two gallons of cleaning solution with warm water and pour it into the hopper. Brush clean the mix hopper and evaporator. Place the power switch and mix refrigeration switch in the on position to agitate the solution. Place an empty mix pail beneath the door spout. Open the draw valve and draw off all the cleaning solution. When the solution stops flowing from the door spout, close the draw valve. Place the power switch and mix refrigeration switch in the off position. Be sure all switches are in the off position. Remove the hopper, outer spiral scraper blade, rear hopper gasket, and beater shaft and beater shaft seal. Take these parts to the sink for cleaning. Wipe any excess liquid from beneath the evaporator using a single service towel. Prepare a sink with an approved cleaning solution in warm water. Completely disassemble all components including O-rings, seals, and gaskets. Thoroughly brush clean all disassembled parts in the cleaning solution, making sure all lubricant and mixed film is removed. Place all the clean parts on a clean dry surface to air dry. Wipe clean all exterior surfaces of the freezer. We hope this video is helpful in the proper operation of your Taylor Freezer.